Hey guys, welcome to a quick episode of This or That, where I know you have lots of options for products and I'm gonna show you what worked for me. Today we're gonna look at two different baby gates. I bought them both in summer of 2021, and so they have been through some times with my family, and I'll show you how they look about two years later. All right, first up we have the Regalo Easy Open 47 inch super wide walkthrough baby gate. This one included bonus four inch and 12 inch extension kits, which we, as you can see, used one of them in this setup, but not the other one. We used the four inch extension kit to meet this door frame. It came with four wall cups and a mounting kit. Here's the wall cups that came with it. That's what they mean, those little gray things. These white pieces right here, these are sold separately. This is a different accessory that is to protect your wall because these things, as you'll see on the next one, these things will definitely damage your drywall. And here's how it opens. It opens either direction, but you do have to pull that back. Back and up in order to open it. So it's nice that it goes both directions. There it is. I'll tell you up front that this gate, multiple people have um, fallen going through this gate because it's just not quite wide enough. So you can see I fit through it. Um, not everybody does. It's not often, it's not even frequent, but it's happened enough. And actually both times it's been grandparents. So that's not great. We've got this at the top of two steps. Um, and when grandparents fall down two steps, that's a big deal. So that's the biggest drawback of this gate. Otherwise it's been solid. And with these mounting brackets, they really help hold it into place. Let's look at the other one. All right, next up, this is the Regalo Easy Step 38 and a half inch wide walkthrough baby gate, which included a six inch extension kit pressure mounting kit, wall cups, and the mounting kit. And when I say wall cups, it just means these little things. These are little kind of rubber stoppers. This screws back and forth to tighten up the tension, but see the drywall damage back there? When you don't use the protective um, little feet like I had on the other one, this is the kind of damage you get over the years from little toddlers grabbing onto these and um, screaming for snacks. <laughs> um, there's no damage to the wood trim on the bottom, but the top on the drywall, definitely some damage. So once we uninstall these, eventually we'll have to repair that drywall, which honestly is, is not that big of a deal. So this one I believe has two extension kits on it because this is an extra wide doorway, but there's one extension kit and two because we bought two of this gate and the other door did not require the extension kit. So I believe the kit only comes like it would come from here on over with one six inch extension, not two. We just had two, one to put on each side, I believe, because we bought two gates and the other one didn't need it. This lock and handle mechanism works differently. Let me switch hands. It requires a little more coordination and it only goes one direction. Because of the way this latch is set up, you can only close it one way. So you pull back on this, it's spring-loaded, push that down. You can still get through it one-handed, no big deal, but it just takes a little more coordination. The other one you have to pull and lift, this one you have to pull and latch. I think they're both manageable and they both can be opened with one hand. This one we have not had any falls, this one just has a wider actual opening that you pass through. If I had to pick a favorite gate, this would be it. They both work just fine. They both stood up very well for two years now, but overall this one is my favorite. Now you know, this or that, that's what works for me.